Aaron, how you doing, mate? Top dollar. How are you, Tubes? I'm all right, mate. On Instagram during the week, uh, you wrote, I love football. I love this club. I love this team. Is it fair to say you are loving life at Arsenal? I think you've just summed it up pretty well, yeah. Um, I'm just loving football at the moment and the fact of me being here, enjoying myself, um, the love I'm getting from uh, my teammates and my fans. It's just a great place to be at the moment. Absolutely, and we, we spoke about it before, but you you absolutely love the boys at Arsenal, don't you? You think it's a great bunch? Yeah, the team, team are great. Um, got a really good dynamic of, of younger, young players, older players, um, lads who just want to work hard and get better. Yeah, these, are, these lads are great. How good has it been for you personally to shut up the doubters, basically? Before you joined Arsenal, they were going, oh, is Aaron Ramsdale good enough for Arsenal? I don't think he is. Now the same people are going, Aaron Ramsdale's got to be England's number one. I mean, how good is it for you to have just gone, shut up? At the moment, it's great, yeah. I'd prefer to be judged over a year or two, three years, but for the moment in time, it's great that uh, the fact that um, I'm able to, to shut them up. It does make you laugh every now and then how quickly people can change, but that is down to, to me, I guess. Um, I knew about what I needed to do. I knew about my abilities, and I've been able to, to show that at this football club because of the manager, and, and long may that can continue because, as I said, I'm, I'm loving it at the moment. I can't stop smiling, and, um, and there's nothing better, nothing better than being happy at, at a job you, you love doing. You say you can't stop smiling. You can't stop celebrating goals as well. Last Saturday, that was absolutely sensational. Just give it the Henri special, didn't I? <laughs> Just thought the big man needed a little, uh, little mention. So, ah. I don't know what comes over me, I really don't. The third one I cooked me is, you think after and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I'm like, I don't care, uh, that's wicked. And I've got some good <laughs> pictures from it as well. So I'm just like, it looks like I've just scored a 30 yard screamer. So it is what it is. And I think the day when I stop celebrating like that, I think will be the day I need to retire. Cause I think, I think my love for football would, would have changed. Your bond with the fans, you know, the Arsenal fans is amazing, isn't it? And the away fans, you, you proper give it to them. Like, it's brilliant, that one against Leicester, when it, you're... Ah! <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, the, fan, the, the bond I've got with the Arsenal supporters is, is amazing. Um, it, does, it does lift you up an extra few feet when you're playing, when they're constantly singing about you, and it gives you the extra boost. And I really do connect with them because when I'm playing for the football club, I want I end up supporting that football club. So there's nothing more I want than Arsenal to win uh, uh, on a match day, no matter if I was playing or not, because I'm employed by the football club and, and that's the team I now support. Because if we're not doing very well, then I'm not doing very well in my job. So that's how it is. But away fans are always, always interesting as well. The Leicester one, again, that was just, it just came to me and thought I'd join in, so I did. <laughs> <laughs> when they were saying so you're just at Jordan Pickford, <laughs> and you, you started joining in as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, and it was, we played Everton the other day, and obviously I seen Jordan, and it was quite funny because the Everton fans and the Arsenal fans were going just back and forth at each other. Obviously, they're back in Jordan, and Arsenal fans are back in me. So that was it was like there was no other game or no other players were on the pitch. It was just like me and Jordan on our own. But yeah, you'd, I'd sing him. I'd started with some of the chants because when you when I played at League Two and League One, and the words were a lot harsher at, at League <laughs> Two, and especially when they're about five yards away from you rather than up in up in the stands. So you get used to it. It doesn't affect you. It's it's a good bit of banter, so um, just got to do it. Absolutely. And, uh, mate, congratulations on the uh, Full England debut. Thoroughly deserved, because this season you've been absolutely brilliant. Uh, you looked absolutely buzzing with your cap after the game. Um, how was the whole experience? I, I genuinely didn't think it would happen, that, that, that camp. I thought maybe this camp was still one too soon. Um, and in, 
if I carry on my form, maybe in March would be the time where I might get a game. And when Gareth told me it was, I like went to smile and then realised like that's the manager standing in front of me. So I like tried to not, and then he just said to me, "It's all right, you can smile." <laughs> having um, having Maguire with me, so I played with his brother at Chesterfield on loan, and both coming through at Sheffield United. It, he just tapped me on the shoulder as I was walking out and said, you've come a long way since Chesterfield, haven't you, bud? And uh, that just basically then chilled me out. But there wasn't a dry eye um, and w within the family when the national anthem was going on. Rightfully so, because it's an amazing achievement. And uh, just to finish, here we go. Sucker and Emil smith <laughs> Love it, mate. Top man. Cheers, Tubesy. See you later, pal.